1925. By this year, the forces that would truly bring the frontier era to an end, things like universal public education, the ready availability of capital, and the internal combustion engine had arrived. Even though the era is often referred to by phrases like the Roaring Twenties, the Jazz Age, and the era of the Lost Generation, most Americans were neither lost, roaring, nor jazzy, but simply trying to make their way in the rapidly changing world. This struggle was most easily seen in the conflict between two impulses, the modern city and the conservative country. Change was the dominant theme by 1925. Education provided Americans a new outlook on the world, though this institution mirrored the clash between old and new. Beginning in 1921, legislators in 20 states introduced bills to prohibit the teaching of evolution in the public schools, and several southern states enacted such legislation. Texas Governor Miriam Ma Ferguson, elected in 1925, actually censored textbooks that discussed evolution, declaring that as, quote, a Christian mother, I am not going to let that kind of rot go into Texas textbooks. The famous Scopes Monkey Trial of 1925 captured the nation's attention on this issue. In a second area, the rural sector also shared the entrepreneurial outlook of the post-war era and took advantage of an unstable banking environment and widespread availability of capital. This would lead to tragic consequences before the decade was through, as farmers took on mortgages to purchase land and machines and improved marginal properties that failed to provide a profitable return. Finally, Henry Ford's Model T now meant the horse and buggy that had dominated the region since its settlement were now gone forever. The democratization of the automobile ushered in a new era in personal transportation. Despite these tensions and changes, Americans in 1925 were poised to enter a new era, but did so with a sense of nervous anxiety. Embracing the conveniences of the modern world, they longed for the stability of the previous century. Few could forecast the events just four short years away that would shake the nation to its core, the Great Depression. Thank you.